we doing tonight?
How we doing, Philly? We having fun yet? <laughs> Us too. Well, as many of you know, I'm an internet guy. I love being on the internet. It's where I live. One of my favorite things to do on the internet is to find new artists, to love and dive deep into their artistic expression. And this past year, I was scouring through the internet and I found one of my favorite new artists in the world, Please welcome back to the stage, Truesdale.
Yes! Well, on this tour, it's been very fun because in, in each city, we've had different special guests that have just kind of been around in the city. And it just so happens tonight, one of my other favorite artists in the world and a great friend is here. Please welcome the stage, Sammy Ray.
Sammy Ray. From Sammy Ray and the Friends. You know where we stand at the top. How we doing? Oh, it's time to sit. Well, what we do is very fun. What we get to do for our job for our livelihood, for our passion, it's very fun. There are very few days in the year that feel like work. The handful of them that do feel like work, there's one thing that they all have in common. And it is airports and getting onto the airplane. Those are the only times where it really feels like work, doing what we do. And the reason is, there are 12, 13 of us that walk up to the gate, and the gate agent looks at us, and they see Sonny with this radioactive-looking bass. They see Bots with the big old berry sacks. They see Kenny walking up with four horns that are strapped together with ratchet straps that are one bag. They're just like, no. Those are four saxophones. T take it apart. Put it under. Kenny freaks out, ends up figuring out a way to make it work. Maybe some of us carry some of them under our jackets. Okay. It kind of sucks traveling with this big of a band sometimes with all of our instruments because then, you know, you're scared that something's going to break, whatever. I've kind of come to terms with it, and I just check my guitar everywhere, and it's whatever. It's whatever's going to happen is going to happen. But we have thought, you know what? What if one of these festival seasons, we made it a little bit easier on ourselves? And we're kind of workshopping a new idea on this tour. And we're, we're workshopping a new band idea called Carry Ons Only. So for the next two songs, the only requirement on the stage is everything must fit in a carry on. Our good friends at Martin Guitars heard that we were doing this, and they, they came and hooked up Sonny with a nice, a custom miniature bass. How about that? Martin Guitars, just dope. <laughs> Can't afford that yet. I see there's many musicians in the crowd standing next to other musicians, looking at each other like, where do you think they got that? I can see it. The musicians in the crowd, you've made yourselves known from the first second that we stepped on stage. You made it very obvious by the way you're looking at the gear, by the way you're looking at our fingers. I can tell who you are. Don't even try to hide it. It's just, it's not gonna happen. We know who you are. Ooh, lefty upside down, interesting. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, like Mono Neon and Eric Gales. Yeah, like we, we know the way that you're looking at our fingers and you're looking at our instruments, that you're gear people, that you're musicians. That being said, I know that many of you know what I'm talking about then when I say that once a month, I end up dodging an unknown number from Fort Wayne, Indiana. See, know your demographic. God bless my Sweetwater Music representative, Anthony. He's been with me from the start, back before anybody cared about who I was or what I was doing. Anthony was there for me, making sure that I had the right amount of picks, that my guitar stands were upright, and I had strings to restring my instruments. So, as the years have gone on, I've, I've been dodging Anthony's calls. I announced this tour, and I ended up giving him a call, and boy, was he stoked to hear from me. He thought to himself, I got the Wong account. It's finally going to pay off. I've had this sucker for seven years. I've seen him grow through all the whatever. Finally, like, what are they going to get? Are they going to need new horns? Because Sweetwater's selling horns now. Guitar going to need a new kid. Sonny going to need all this. We got all this gear. We're going to need a new percussion rig. 
nope. Sorry, Anthony. Uh, thanks, for, thanks for taking my call. I need you to send me the smallest guitar, the smallest drum set, the smallest set of bongos, and the smallest bass that you've got. And here we are. Here we are. I have never heard of this company. As a matter of fact, they even put the dot on the wrong fret, and we had to fix it. <laughs> it's powered by a watch battery, and it stays loosely in tune. But Martin, Martin hooked you up today, man. Come on. Hey, by the, where's the horns at? Are you on this flight? Or did we put you on spirit? <laughs> there we go. Kenny, what do you got? What do you got? You got a carry on? There we go. Jay Webb, what are you hiding? Oh, look at that. He brought a newborn to the gig. Bots, what do you got? Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Michael, you don't have a mini trombone? They don't even let, they don't even let you carry the trombone. They won't even let you check the trombone. That's, that's a hazard. Kevin G, I need you to stop playing. There's not an airline in the world that's gonna let you bring that B3 on board. Please just uh, go sit back there until we're done here. Wong on ice arrangement, yeah. Yeah, you want to use the mic? Bring over that other one, bring over that other one. We need that other mic. The bongo mic. Okay, yeah. We got a de-ice, quick. <laughs> you know, they just like make up some excuse that are like, like yeah, we're a... <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, here we go. Walk on ice arrangement, yeah.
It does sound dope.
please welcome to the stage, Victor Wooten.
That's Kevin Gaston way on keys. Jake Botts on Barry Sax and bass clarinet. Kenny Holman on tenor sax, soprano sax, flute, and piccolo. Eddie Barbash on curved soprano sax and curved alto sax. John Lampley on trumpet and flugel. Trumpet man Jay Webb. On trombone, that's Michael Nelson, the Hornheads. On percussion, that's Nega Santos. Pitar Janic on the drums and cymbals. We got the one and only Sonny T with us tonight. Philadelphia, thank you so much. What a wonderful way to spend the evening. Thank you. It means so much to us that so many of you would be here. It really means a lot. Thank you.
Good evening, folks. Tonight's performance was brought to you by Wong Notes Productions. Before the encore starts, we will be holding a live press conference. Corey will be taking questions at the front of the stage. Please raise your hand and prepare your questions for the band. Good evening, Philadelphia. My name is Corey Wong. Welcome to tonight's press conference. As the team's captain, I am here to take full responsibility for everything that happened here on this stage. I'm here to talk about all the wins, all the losses, all the 16th notes that were meant to be, all the half-step mistakes, all the form mistakes, all the tunes that we should have run at soundcheck but didn't. And, uh, you know, ran a couple plays that, that we just, we, we hit off the cuff and there was some winners and there was, there was some that could use a little bit of work, but that's why we're here. We're here to hold ourselves accountable for the rest of this tour to make sure that we end the postseason correctly. Uh, played a couple, Played some, played some material off the Wong's Cafe album tonight, Radio Shack. That's the first time we played it on this tour. It's feeling pretty good. Feeling pretty good. Michael, how are you feeling about the six horn arrangement? Is that one working okay? Lampley, you feel good coming in on that one? Now we're talking. It's the first time on this tour we played Brooklyn Bop. Sonny came in with some lyrics about Philadelphia. That was nice, Sonny. Sonny, that was a nice solo. Sonny, can you talk to me? What, you, you had some nice harmonic information going. You, you had the envelope filter thing going for the first part. You, you had some harmonic motions, superimpositions, and then you went a little more melodic when you started singing. Can you tell me a little bit about what, what was running through your head as you were playing that solo? <laughs> Pancakes. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> No, I, I, sometimes I just go into a zone, you know, because, you know, I, I practice so much on just, you know, scales, music theory, composition, all that stuff. I want, I practice enough to where I can just, I don't try to map out solos ever. I just, whatever God gives me, I try to just spit it back out. I like that. The man deserves his Diet Coke this evening. You earned it, Sonny. We played a new tune tonight. This one's, this is a brand new tune, working title, Flamingo. Brand new tune, brand new tune. You know, as, 
as you start to hear the tunes that come out, of the, I've been working on a record the last six or seven months. We're, we're entering, this is the first time, this is the first time in history, and, and tonight especially on that tune, you are entering the phaser era of Corey Wong. I'm using a phaser pedal quite a bit more. I'm testing it out, maybe overdoing it a little bit on the album, but that's why I have a good mix engineer who could say, cool it on the phaser bus, I'm muting this on this song. Okay, fair. Uh, Truesdale came out and absolutely shredded it, come on. Come on. Absolute pleasure to have them out here on the tour. And of course, special guest this evening, impromptu guest coming out, singing some Dan, singing some Steely Dan, Sammy Ray. I know there's been a lot of discourse on the internet, especially in, on Twitter in the last two months regarding Steely Dan. And on behalf of, of uh, truly everybody on this stage except for the Barry Sachs player, we are here to defend the honor of Steely Dan. <laughs> Fix it, bro. He didn't know the peg was by Steely Dan. You come into this band like that, you're gonna get put on blast in public. <laughs> yeah, that's a technical. We got the carry-ons only set. That was nice. That was nice. Sonny, you got the new but you got a new bass guitar today. That thing sounds great. That's a keeper. That's a keeper. Victor Wooten came out and blew our minds. If you, would have, if you would have asked me when I was a teenager if my musical hero, Victor, tu Victor Wooten, would be out on tour with me, I, I would have, in my, in my external humble self, said, no way, that's not gonna happen, but my ambitious internal self would have been, yeah, one of these days, I'm gonna get up there on that stage and play with Victor. And here we are, here we are. Little ambition goes a long way. Absolute, one of, one of the greatest musicians of our time, and it is a treat to have him here with us. Vic, how'd you feel about your performance tonight? Uh, uh, not, not too bad. I, sat, I stayed up last night with, with Uncle Sonny and got some pointers, <laughs> got some tips. You know, he, he helped me out a little bit, and I, I was able to put him to use a little bit. So thank you. Thank you, Uncle T. Uncle T. Uncle T. <laughs> All right, here, here's how this is gonna work. My tour manager, Corey Dubray, is down here with a microphone. We're gonna take some questions from members of the press. Please state your name, publication, no holds barred. You come at anybody out here at this stage. Make sure you keep it clean because we're live streaming on YouTube right now. My sec security will take you out. This guy in the black hat will take you out if you get unruly. Dubray, you ready to rock? Let's go. Right down here in the front with the brown, necklace, uh, brown uh, bracelet, yep. Nice Hi, piece. Hi, I'm Amber from Tiger Beat Magazine. Great to have you with us. Love My your work, love your, uh, your, your, your expose on BTS, that was pretty good, but uh, I felt like you, you kind of felt a couple of the guys, you, you treated a couple guys unfairly, but uh, we'll get past it, it for this is. evening. Thanks for being with us. Yeah, thank you. My question is, do your guitars have names? Most people name their guitars. Never thought of naming my guitars. They already got a baby. Pretty weak answer to that, huh? <laughs> no. <laughs> Should I? I? I don't know. I've just I've never felt the desire to name my, my guitars. I don't know why. 
Maybe someday I will, I will have that sort of relationship with my instruments, but for now it's, I've got number one, number two, and then a bunch of signature guitars, and then some other things. I guess one of them has a name, the Valentine. I call it the Valentine, because that's just the name of the guitar. Uh, some other questions. Right there in the black shirt and the glasses, center part. Hello, my name is Connor. I'm repping uh, Jersey Shore Times. How about that? Jersey Shore Times, thank you for your investigative journalism. Let's rock. Corey. When's the stash coming back? The stash is not coming back. The stash was a gigantic mistake. There was a period in my life. Are you done? Can I, can I defend myself here? There was a dark point in my life where I was doing a bit. I was trying to get the attention of watercolors on Sirius XM. I was trying, I was working an angle that, that was maybe not the outcome that I had thought once I, I got there. I accomplished 70%. Uh, I saw the keys to the kingdom and I decided not to pick them up. I decided to pick up the razor instead and I feel like that was a better decision but that's also why we have people like Eddie and Sonny in the band to really pick up for the mustache slack that I've been delivering. We got more questions here. Right down here in the front. In the Cory Wong shirt, carrying a Cory Wong shirt. Helps you get picked. <laughs> uh, I'm Mark. Um, last night I was at Beacon. You guys played the middle school medley. I have a question for Sonny and Vic. If you guys had to pick a song for the middle school medley, what would it be? Ooh, we do the middle school medley. If there was a song from your middle school, like a middle school dance, if you got to choose one song from your middle school dance, what would you have chosen? Um, what reminds, like what, what's iconic for you? Like when you were in middle school. <laughs> like I went to one. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, actually, whew, it would be Thank You For Letting Me Be Myself by Sly and the Family Star. Because Larry was pumping that bass, boy. You know, you know, I'd love to hear Corey do a version of Staying Alive. <laughs> the Wong version. Not the white version. The Wong version. I like that. I like that. Right there in the white jacket, yep. Can I come up uh, there and play Dean Town with you? Yes! On what instrument? Do you know how to play it? How long have you been playing the bass? Four years? Let's rock. All right, let's do this thing. Let's play two more songs. Let's play Dean Town, and then let's get Truesdale up for one more, huh? Let's do it. Good evening, folks. Tonight's performance was brought to you I've got a mute button, don't worry, Productions. if it sucks. Before the but he said he practiced, starts, so we're good, huh? a live press conference. Corey will be taking questions at the front of the stage. Please raise your hand and prepare your questions for the day.
Give it up for Ben. Playing detail. Always watch me on that. Can we bring Truesdale back up for one more? Yes. Mr. Synchronicity. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thanks for being here.
Hey. Oh, I told you I swear it was nothing but that love. 